actress and adult content creator Sherlyn Chopra is getting brutally trolled for flaunting her dance moves in the middle of street while men poured bottles of water on her. In her latest video, which is going viral on social media, Sherlyn can be seen wearing a semi-transparent yellow sari with a deep neck revealing blouse as she greeted the paparazzi. She also had two men along with her and in the video, she can be seen asking them to pour water on her. The duo then poured two bottles of water on her while the actress showed off her sensual moves in front of the cameras. Netizens have slammed Sherlyn for her act. One user wrote, Height of patheticness. Another user wrote, Urfi is doing fashion and trying to do something different in her own world, but this is so weird and cheap, unnecessary photo age. Dislike button. Sherlyn is spotted by the paparazzi in the city or at the airport almost every day, and she always makes it a point to grab maximum eyeballs with her bizarre antiques. INS report. Amping up the excitement and anticipation, the makers of Dream Girl 2 unveiled the official first look of Ayushman Kurana in his characters on Tuesday. In the first look poster, Ayushman had donned two avatars, one as Pooja and another as Karam. As Pooja, he is seen wearing a lehenga, he has long hair and is looking into the mirror as he applies lipstick. On the other side of the mirror is Ayushman as Karam dressed in a pink t-shirt and holding a lipstick in his hand. Ayushman too shared the poster on his Instagram handle. He captioned the post, Ye to sirf pehli jhalak hai. Objects in the mirror are more khubsurat than they appear. The earlier promos of the much-awaited sequel had featured Shah Rukh Khan's Pathan character and Salman Khan's character from Kisi Ka Bhai Kisi Ki Jaan. Dream Girl 2 is produced by Ekta R. Kapoor and Shobha Kapoor and is directed by talented Raj Shandilya. It will be released on August 25. Daisy Shah and Shiv Thakre shared a great bond on stunt-based reality show Khatro Ke Khilari 13. Even after returning home from South Africa, the two are still very much in contact. Last night, the duo stepped out to catch a movie together. They were spotted by the paps while they were leaving for their home in the actress car. When the two posed for the paparazzi, one shooterbuck called them Nice Jodi. Hearing this, Shiv and Daisy burst out laughing. Nice Jodi! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, normally, normally. After they sat in the car together, Shiv tried telling the paparazzi to move out of the way because Daisy is not a good driver. Then hilariously shuts him up. Jodi, Jodi, one number, Jodi. What? 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 One second. What are you saying? Hey, Shiv, boy. Say it. Say it. Say it. Khadro Ki Kiladi, 13 years on colors. Within first week of its release, Hindi film Bawal, which stars Varun Dhawan and Janvi Kapoor, has taken India by storm, garnering widespread attention and acclaim. The film has already surpassed 7 million views, solidifying its position as a major hit. It is also trending worldwide and is on number one position in more than 14 countries. Varun shared this happy news on his Instagram handle. The film's captivating narrative delves into the challenges experienced within a relationship, beautifully weaving a tale of rediscovery for Ajay, played by Varun Dhawan, and Nisha, played by Janvi Kapoor. The heartfelt portrayal of their love story has struck a chord with audiences, earning abundant praise and appreciation for its storytelling, performances, production design, and direction. It appears that the film's momentum shows no sign of slowing down. Produced by Sajid Nadiawala's Nadiawala Grants in Entertainment in collaboration with Ashwani Ayar Tiwari and Nitesh Tiwari's Earth Sky Pictures, the film is directed by the much acclaimed Nitesh Tiwari, who is known for films such as Dangal, Chiller Party and Chichore. Bawal is currently streaming on Prime Video in India and across 200 countries and territories. Bollywood star Sunny Deol's younger son, Rajveer Deol and Poonam Dhillon's daughter Paluma are all set to step into the world of cinema with Rajshree Productions' upcoming sweet love story, Dono. Suraj Barjatia's son, Avnish S. Barjatia, is all set to make his directorial debut with the two fresh faces. The film titled Dono is a story of innocence, love and life and is expected to have a theatrical release later this year. 
The one minute teaser released on Tuesday gives a sneak peek into the world of Dono. The story seems to take place at a wedding where Dave, friend of bride, meets Meghna, friend of the groom. The teaser showcases a grand landscape, captures and lavish wedding visuals. Rajshree in its 75 years old legacy has been a production house of debut dance launching fresh talent in all streams of film with pride for its 59th film production titled dono rajshree is in association with geo studios directed by avnish s barjatia dono will be released in cinema soon one of the most iconic film from the production house is maine pyar kiya directed by suraj barjatia It stars Salman Khan and Bhagyashree the film marks the debuts of Parjati and Bhagyashree Maine pyar kiya is considered to be one of the most iconic romantic films ever made and become a cult favorite because of its soundtrack and the chemistry between Salman and Bhagyashree In the latest episode of Big Boss OTT2 Falak Naz was shown the exit door The actress has expressed her disappointment over her elimination डिसअपॉइंटेड हूँ डेफिनेटली हूँ जर्नी बहुत खूबसूरत रही लेकिन ठीक है मैं मुझे ऐसा लग रहा है कि मैंने अपना हंड्रेड परसेंट दिया है और जो एक जवाब मेरी तरफ से मैं देना चाहती थी वो खुद सलमान सर ने उसी वक्त दे दिया था कि जो खेलना चाह रही है उसी का सब ने नाम ले लिया लाइन से तो मुझे नहीं लगता कि अब इसके आगे कुछ मेरा कहना बनता है जो सलमान सर खुद बोल रहे हैं कि हम नहीं निकालना चाह रहे लेकिन आपके घर वाले को कंटेस्टेंट्स आपको निकाल रहे हैं और उसके बाद भी आई थिंक सलमान सर ने काफ़ी बोला कि भाईचारा बहन चारा बंद करो तुम लोगों ने नाम लिया तुम लोगों ने निकाला तो आई थिंक वो काफ़ी था मेरे लिए डिसअपॉइंटमेंट हुआ है लेकिन मेरे लिए शॉकिंग नहीं था जो नाम लिया लाइन से सबने बैठ के इट वॉज एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रॉम देम कि वो मेरा ही नाम लेने वाले हैं तो इट्स अविनाश शेयर अ ग्रेट बॉन्ड विथ फलक ऑन द शो Her elimination left Avinash in shock, and he even asked Falak to wait for him outside the Big Boss house. During her interaction with the media, when Falak was asked whom she wants to win Big Boss OTT two, she said, "Um, dil se chahti hoon ki Avinash khele acha game. Jeete ki baat hai. Jeete. Acha. Dil se chahti hoon ki jeete." Ashika Bhatia, Avinash Sachdev, Elvis Shahda, Falak Nas, Jaid Harir, and Jia Shankar was. nominated for eviction this week Jad Hadid Alaknaz and Avinash Sachdev were in the bottom 3 said the show's host Salman Khan later a vote was taken by the housemates over who was least interested in the show amongst these three Falak was subsequently voted out Namaste Sara ji kaisi rahi aapki yatra Sara Khan loves to travel to spiritual places. The actress recently undertook the Amarnath Yatra in Jammu and Kashmir. She even shared glimpses of her yatra on Instagram. One picture showed her offering namaz at the mosque. Another picture showed her playing with children while another showed her enjoying the scenic beauty of Kashmir. Sara captioned the post, "Where and how can we find peace? Everywhere just look within." 3 Namaste. Didi hum kahan hai? Aap Thajiwas. Thajiwas. तो नमस्ते दर्शकों वेलकम टू था जी बात The actress is now back to Mumbai from her visit to the holy place. She was spotted at the Mumbai airport on Monday while interacting with the media. Sara shared experience of her yatra. Namaste Sara ji. Kaisi rahi aapki yatra? Sara often visits spiritual places. On the one front, Sara will next be seen in four highly anticipated release: Avatar, Meri Vatan, Metro, In Dino, Murder Mubarak, and an untitled film with Jagan Shakti. Backed by Dharma Productions, Avatar, Meri Vatan is a biopic based on the freedom fighter Usha Mehta, who started an underground radio station in Mumbai called the Congress Radio during the Quit India Movement of 1942. In the few months it was around the radio station left a big mark as it greatly assisted the freedom movement by broadcasting uncensored news and other information banned by the British Raj. The film will be released on Amazon Prime Video. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.